high Capricorns, well, the planets that have an effect on you in 2015, we begin with Saturn, which is in your spiritual 12th house for most of the year ahead and remains so for the next two years. This is an intense spiritual period for you. Go with the flow and discover your inner self. The second planet that is affecting you is Neptune, which moves into your third house of communication. So you should be inspired by what attracts you. Reading good books will help you a lot. Pluto has been in your sign for many years and will be there for a couple of more years to come. Thus, a cosmic detox of mind and body is on the anvil. You are giving birth to the person that you always wanted to be. Jupiter, the most important planet, has been in your 8th house of transformation and regeneration since July 2014. And after August 11, 2015, when it moves into the ninth house, it brings foreign travel and overall prosperity to you. The year overall 2015 forecasts a simple lifestyle for the coming months. You will be fortunate to experience many expansions and experiences in all spheres of life. You will look at life from a different angle in 2015. It is important that you make some new alterations to your way of living. Focusing on your goals will help you towards achieving your targets. Spiritual consciousness awakens and helps you gain new insights of your own psyche. This is a year of your growth personally and professionally. You are in the midst of an inner revolution whose purpose is greater, self-empowerment, a spiritual or psychological process which urges you to make a huge life change, especially in or from August. Career developments can be expected in the months of September and December. A little bit about your love life, your career and finance. Well, in love life, chances of total transformation are expected in the year 2015. You need to approach your partner in a very practical manner. The right time to get married if you're single. Before you make any commitments, it's wise to start your relationship by disclosing everything about yourself and starting on a clean state. Married couples need to help one another and maintain harmony. Do not break old relations just because you have made new associations now. Your career. Do not allow your ego come in the way at professional work. Working in a team will help you broaden your own horizons and help you make progress. Delegating a major professional responsibility to someone close will be possible in March or April. Do not keep unfinished tasks, complete projects at hand before you embark or take on new ones. Later part of the year is very good for job seekers. Overall, it's a good year professionally. Finances for you? On the financial front, you will receive good returns from old investments made in the past. Taking care of niggling problems related to health will help save on your medical bills. So take care, especially in the months of August and September. A stitch in time saves nine. Buy what you need and stay away from hoarding things. Mitigate desires to avoid unnecessary expenditure. A career tip for you. Think twice before investing money in foreign deals with new clients. Seek advice of experts while making investments. You need to trust your higher energies, be in an appropriate state of mind, endeavor to force yourself and be happy. Your only job is to be happy and leave the higher energy to sort your issues. Good luck.